Hey you guys, welcome back to the mother freaking channel. So in today's video, I am reviewing the Butterfly Poly Gel Kit from SXC Cosmetics. This is the design that I did on my sister. She wanted a color change, design change, so I removed her old design, filed it off, and then we'll start fresh. I'm gonna do a full-on kit unboxing and just go through everything really thorough and detailed. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. When you order this, you'll receive it in like the brown Amazon packaging and then this is what's inside. It's a super huge box. My camera couldn't zoom out enough to get the entire box on screen. I actually really love this packaging. I like that when you open it up, this is the first thing you see is like these words here. And then there's two smaller packages inside of the bigger package. And this is the package that has all of the product in it. So this is everything you get. You have an instructional that I will flip through towards the end of this unboxing. But first, I wanna give a quiet gang notification gang shout out to Harmit Kaur, Chantel Renee, Mickey, and Nailed by Susie. Thank you guys so much for being the first four to comment on my last video. Thank you so much to everyone who tries to make it to these videos. And a thank you to the premiere squad, everyone who tries to make it to the premieres. They're so much fun, so yeah. This is the brush that comes with the kit. I really, really love this brush. It was super pretty to me, and I noticed a really nice touch that they added to this brush was a little butterfly insignia that they put right here in silver. So that's a very special touch that I have not noticed in any other polygel kit before. I found that the brush hairs were really nice and soft, and I really like this longer brush for poly gel application. So in a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these colors, but you get a lot of these colors in this kit. And these are like the standard 15 milliliter bottles. I really love all of the names. They kind of have this theme to them. I think it's like, maybe these are like Italian names. I don't know, but it was really pretty. I like that the swatch colors were kind of represented on the butterflies in the bottles. They included some really pretty nail art stickers butterfly nail forms which I thought was such a good touch and these forms I do use today and I actually really love these forms they worked really well they were sticky and stayed in place this is the hand file that was included unfortunately it was bent so I don't think it's possible to really use unless you like fix it by unbending it somehow there were some dual forms included and these kind of have that impress curve shape and they look to be a nice medium length so you get a matte top coat, a base top coat, and a regular shiny glossy top coat. But it was really cool that they included a matte, as well as all of these amazing 3D nail art charms. So yeah, if you guys like nail art tutorials or just watching sort of like unboxings or reviews, definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell because we have a lot of these on this channel and many more to come. And they also included some glitters. I love these and this is what we use to create this cascading butterfly effect. So the second package inside of the bigger package was a lamp. This is a 24 watt lamp. It has a 30 seconds and 60 seconds timer on it. And it's pretty good, I think, for beginners. I didn't use that lamp today because mine is like 84 watt, so it cures a lot quicker. So that was the instruction manual, and now these are all of the colors swatched. Let me know which ones you guys like the most. We pretty much ended up using all of these colors today. I do have a gripe about the colors. I kind of wish that they were a little bit more pigmented. As they're swatched out on white paper, you really see the color a lot better than when they're actually applied to the nail without any white base under them. So you'll kind of see how they end up looking on my sister. I just wish they were a little bit more pigmented. So um, I had already taken off her old design and I kind of filed down to a thin layer. There's a little bit of base coat gel left over on these nails, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the base coat gel that came in this kit. I have already prepped and primed her nails. If you guys wanna see that step-by-step -step removal and prep, I'll have that video in the cards. I really like the base coat in this. So the base coat in this kit is actually really good. It's really thick and I have a good feeling it's gonna work pretty well for her. So I will keep you guys updated on how her nails last. So this is how you would use the form by breaking that seal right there and then turning the form around and you wanna connect these two butterfly wings together at the bottom. You don't want to really just like tightly press close the end, the free edge of the form. 
because if you want a like wider nail like a square shape you wouldn't do that if you're doing a stiletto yeah you would actually pinch them close but this is pretty good for starting out I actually don't do all that pinching until I actually get the form on the finger and then I can see better how the shape is gonna look so with a form you want to fit it under the free edge if the client doesn't have a free edge it's okay the form is really great for faking a free edge and helping to correct bitten nails so you might notice one side of my form is kind of bent in. You can use the scraper tool to kind of like stick this tool under there and pop it back open into place. So once the form is fit, that's when you close everything on the top of the finger and at the bottom of the finger, you then squeeze everything closed. So this design is really simple. I didn't really do too much. I'm going to just be applying like one thin layer of the poly gel color. I'm using different colors on each finger. Then I'll cure that, take off the form. In most cases, I take off the form. Then I use base coat gel to apply the glitters and flash cure those into place. Then I cap the nail with the same poly gel color I used to apply. I noticed that the packaging said that these were supposed to be very clear jelly poly gels. I did notice quite a bit of clouding after filing the nail and applying the top coat. They just weren't as clear as I had expected. Other than that, the consistency was really great. I actually really loved the kind of like more stiffer feeling of this product. I felt like I had a little bit more control with it. The end result was still really nice. It filed well. It just worked well. It wasn't bubbly and everything worked pretty nicely. I ended up using a slip solution from Burano today. This kit recommends that you use a base coat gel as slip. A lot of the poly gel brands right now are not including slip because of the alcohol shortages due to COVID. So yeah, that's just something to note. If you want to use slip, you can always use rubbing alcohol. So you might be noticing this form looks really wonky and off. I had applied it and walked away and then she tried to fix it because she said it was crooked. I don't know why she did that but she ended up like pinching the bottom way too high up and I was already like not really trying to redo this whole form over again. I kind of felt like I could fix it. I wish I had redone the form over again because this is a clear nail. You could kind of see some irregularities on the underside because it was so pinched. So yeah, I just wanted to explain why it looks like that. This would kind of be an example of how you don't want to do the form if you're going to do a longer nail.
so I just applied a little bit of this green jelly from McCart because I feel like the color, uh, the green color poly gel just wasn't really cutting it and I just wanted more pigment so that these nails can stand out a little bit more from each other. So I just kind of put a thin layer of that and then cured it. Chances I don't care if I am dancing brighter Yeah, 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 oh boy I'm telling you goodbye, I'm telling you goodbye Yeah, yeah, oh boy I'm telling you goodbye, I'm telling you goodbye Don't you say why you're stranger now Your eyes escape from mine when I sit you down Don't you feel like we're holding on Onto a fairy tale but the magic's gone
So after the application, I'm gonna file down the bulk of the nails using my e-file, and then I will be hand filing off screen. So I just had her wash her hands and now I'm going to do a final top coat. Alright y'all, so this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. This video is a giveaway video and there are some rules to enter this giveaway. There will be two winners of this Butterfly SXC Poly Gel Kit. So there's going to be some rules down below. Make sure you check them and follow them because they're a bit different than my usual giveaways. Thank you guys so much for watching and if any of you are new, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting this channel and I love you guys. Stay safe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.